Randall should be the one laying there. Not your brother. I'm not leaving you behind. You start butchering their people, and our chances of making it out of here, any of us, go down to zero. They, they had some supplies just sitting out, and Norma caught me. I didn't think she was going to, but she, she, she let me go. Michonne, what is it? Hope you're not thinking about jumping. Because if you do, I'm gonna have to come in after you. Not looking forward to that. Water's gonna be an ice bath. Really? You'd come after me? You're one of us now. And I can't be the only brains around here. Ooh, freezing my ass off. Yeah. Coffee will warm you up. Go on. <coughs> God damn, Oak. You can't call it coffee when more than half's whiskey. Uh, you sound like my ex-wife. She was more of a rum girl. Despised a lot of them when I first got on board, but they grow on you. Like mold, they are. Nah, nah, sorry, that's shit, isn't it? They're growing on me, too. Kind of nice that people can still joke around. It's a fine line between the court jester and the village idiot. You can guess which side I think he's on. Before I joined up with Pete, my brother and I were cooped up in an old canning factory. Food for ages. A lot of fat and happy people. But then, a young girl got taken. We followed a trail. It wasn't hard with all the blood. Ended up cornering the people who took her in this warehouse. All ten of us went in. Only I came out. I would have gone in alone. If I had another chance, I wouldn't have gone in at all. After my brother... A few weeks later, I came across Pete, a ways up the coast. He saw that look on my face and he... Offered me a job. Didn't ask any questions. Didn't turn me away. Just welcomed me in. Pete's a good goddamn egg in a rotten world. Pete shouldn't be so trusting. 
People will always let you down. Not always, Michonne. Well, I think Berto's little routine is winding down so we can finally play cards. Care to join us? It'd be nice to have you there. Yeah. Deal me in. Sounds like a challenge. You might regret it when I win that machete of yours. God, he's dead. I should have stopped you. How could you do this? That man was tied up, defenseless. He got what he deserved. I knew I shouldn't have left you alone with him. I wanted this, I, I did, but seeing him now, I wish I'd been the one to do it. Sam. It was my dad. My family. You're not a killer, Sam. Don't become one. You don't know what I am. Uh! Sam, calm down. My dad isn't even in the fucking ground yet, and you want me to calm down? I, I didn't mean... He ruined everything. He killed... No, I know. Pick you don't know. Michonne. Wait. You hear that? Answer me. Now. Michonne? You don't want to keep me waiting. Enough of this silent treatment. You might be sitting pretty, thinking you have the upper hand. But your luck has changed. Michelle needs Sadiq. They got the rest of the crew, too. Oak and Berto. Look, whatever this bitch asks, don't... Sadiq! Don't worry. They're all in good hands here. But them staying that way is up to you. So listen closely. I'm willing to trade my brother for your friend. But anything you do to Randall, I will do to them. Do you understand? Look, you don't owe me anything, but please, we have to get them back. I understand. That's what I like to hear. We'll be there by sunrise. Be ready for us. Shit. Oh, <laughs> 
She's coming here for her brother. When she sees what we did to him. At least he can walk, right? If you can call that walking. Let's just hope she doesn't take it out on my guys. Norma wants her brother. This better work. It will, I think. It's risky. Even if it does work, then what? Norma's not gonna leave us alone. She won't stop just because we gave her her brother back. Even if he was alive, we still burned all their shit. So we run. After you trade for your friends, we haul ass to the back gate and get the hell out of here. But she'd take the house. Let her have it. Wouldn't she expect us to run? So what? It's not gonna be that easy, Paige. If we run, they'll chase us. But maybe we get away. If we stay here, there's no chance we get out of this alive. I can't fucking listen to this. What? Sam, come back here. Sam! Sam, stop. You're going to hurt yourself. God damn it. Sam, stop. Maybe you're all ready to walk away, but I'm not just going to leave him like this. <laughs> we couldn't give my mom a real funeral. My dad and I... I had to bury her here. Just the two of us. He'd want to be with her. That's all I can give him. I understand. He should be buried with your mom. But we can't focus on that right now. We have to be ready to leave. I'm not going. What? Sam, you can't still be thinking. My mom is here, Paige. Everything I have of her and Greg. If you want to leave, go ahead, but I'm not coming with you. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I, I can't go. This house meant everything to my dad. It's all I have left. So what happens when Norma comes? We fight with everything we have. No matter what happens, thank you. I owe you my life. Sorry it took me so long to say it. I know it's stupid, but I have to finish this. I've got some weapons stashed in my room. Old duffel bag. Should look familiar. You should make sure everyone's armed before Norma gets here. Yeah. I, I was just wanted to know what it felt like. I, I wasn't gonna shoot it. Just careful. You don't want to shoot yourself.
Empty. Can I help? I want to do something. Sure, go ahead. Those slide in there. Round side forward. How could they just die like that? Greg and Dad. I, I thought we were safe here. What am I supposed to do? You have to be smart. That's how you survive. My dad was the smartest guy I knew. That didn't save him. The guy who did it killed my dad. He's gotta, I mean, the things he said, the way he was laughing about dad. Randall is dead, James. I killed him. I heard you guys talking. There's more people coming to the house. Sam's hurt. If, if she, they can't hurt her too. You have to stop them. Your sister's tough. I wouldn't worry about her too much. Here. I, I don't know if I'm ready, you know, to have one. Hang on to this. You don't know when you might need it. Norma's on her way. Things could go wrong in a hurry. I'll be careful. Wish it didn't always come to this. Here, Pete. Thanks. This is a mess. Can't believe how fucking stupid I was. I get so focused on finding people. I wasn't putting the crew first. I didn't insist on looking. If I didn't turn us around and lead us here, it's not your fault, Pete. You didn't know this would happen. Oak knew. I should have fucking listened. You think after all this time, after everything we've had to do to survive, people would want to help each other. But no. They're just guarding what's theirs and taking out whoever gets in their way. I don't know why I even bother trying to help anymore. It doesn't... It doesn't seem worth it. Maybe I was just fooling myself. I wanted to think there were people worth helping. Careful, Pete. You're starting to sound like me. We just... We have to get my crew back. Hopefully my boat is still in one piece. Shit. What the hell are we gonna do? What happens after we hand him over? If she takes that bag off, are we really prepared for that? We're gonna have to fight. I trust you.
This must be how they reinforce the gate. Hope it keeps Norma out. Right behind you. Wow. She's been all over the world. Those days are long gone now. Is that... music? Can I come in? I like that. It's pretty. My dad gave it to me, so I wouldn't have to hear the things out there. As long as I stay in my fortress, I'm safe. It keeps all the bad stuff out. I put pillows and blankets against the wall. Was this your dad's idea? Yeah. My dad makes sure I'm always safe, so nothing can happen to me, ever. Especially not those things. I know what those monsters out there are. One to go. Grandma told me about them. It's what happens when someone eats another person. Oh? I hadn't heard that one before. Do they scare you too? They make lots of noise. Even at night. I'll tell you a secret. They scare me too sometimes. Really? But my dad's not scared of them. I've been waiting for him. Where is he? Why didn't he come get me yet? Where is my dad? I'm so sorry, Alex. Something terrible happened. A bad man came and hurt your dad. What? He shot him. No! I don't believe you! I want to see him. Please. <laughs> Did my dad be become one of them? It, it, it's what happens, right? He did, didn't he? No. He was shot in the head. When someone dies, you put a bullet or something sharp right here. <laughs> and then you don't turn, okay? It's not fair. Alex, you need to be strong, okay? I can't. Two and three checked in. Coming up on the road now. Hey, keep the chatter to a minimum. Our friends are listening.
Oh, hey, I, I didn't hear you come in. Here. Were you able to talk some sense into her? Or do you still think digging a hole is a good use of Sam's time? I've never seen her like this. She's... she's not thinking. I'm not gonna stop her from burying her father. You act like I'm doing this to be cruel. I get why she wants to do it, but we just can't. Not with Norma on her way. I don't know why Sam thinks she can protect her brothers here. I'll be out of your hair soon enough. Never belonged here anyway. Same as you. That's one thing we got in common. But that's not why you're leaving. I mean, it's part of it. Call it self-preservation, but I've gotten pretty used to knowing when it's time to cut and run. Norma's gonna be here soon. If they're not ready, I won't stick around just to watch this fall apart. She's so stubborn, though. I just hope it doesn't get her killed this time. Then stay. Sam needs you. You're gonna regret it if you leave, trust me. The Fairbanks kept me safe, but I don't know if I can do the same for them. You found the bag. Yeah, here. Thanks. Are the others ready? As ready as we're gonna get. I'm looking for Alex. Have you seen him? I want him to be there when I say a few words for Dad. He wasn't at Mom's funeral. He should be there for this. Alex asked about his father. So... I told him what happened. Oh, shit. I, uh, I should check on him then. You'll find him in his fortress. I'll meet you outside. Sam, you okay? Greg and Dad, I just, I don't really know what to say. Where am I supposed to start? I don't know. Just say what he meant to you. Yeah. Okay. I'll give you a moment. Hey, you okay? Michonne. Just thinking about my kids. I keep seeing them. Hang in there. We'll be back out on the water soon.
You know I envy them a little. They've managed to hold on to something we all lost a long time ago. Something like normal. I don't know how to describe it. Feels like before. Just a little bit. Whatever normal is, it doesn't exist anymore. No matter how much you want it to. Hey, I decided to stay. For Sam. Don't get cocky. It had nothing to do with what you said. Uh-huh. Michonne? She's here! <sighs> I thought we had more time. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Sam! Just go upstairs with your brother, okay? I need you to hide until I come get you. <sighs> What's gonna happen? Is she gonna hurt us? Y you'll stop them, right? Right? Just get upstairs. Stay out of sight and you'll be safe. Norma's not after you. Everything will be fine. Stay together, no matter what. We will. Okay. I can get a clear shot of the front gate from upstairs. I'll cover you. If I can. You better not miss. I hope I don't. Paige, if anything goes wrong, I need you to take care of James and Alex. Don't talk like that. Paige, please. Sam, you know I'll... Grab Randall and meet us outside. Quiet out there. You ready for this? Anything goes wrong out there, I got your back. This isn't gonna stay peaceful for long. Be ready to fight when I tell you. You got it. It's just me. What the hell is going on here? I had my people hang back a bit. I wanted to talk first. Just us. Clear the air a little. What's your game? No game. I just want to talk. Where's Pete's crew? They're not far. Don't worry. Why should we believe you? I may be a lot of things, but I'm no liar. Your crew is safe, I promise you. Listen, Monroe is gone. Sunk down in the water like everything I built. You and I, we've each taken from the other. All I want now is my brother back. I'm sorry for what he did. That's all. And I'll leave you be. You'll get Randall? After you hand over my friends. After everything you've done, you expect me to simply hand over your friends. Just like that. Careful, Michonne. A show of good faith, then. Any minute now. Safe and sound, just like I said. Now, I want to see my brother. Why the hell are we standing here? We're all homeless because of her. Getty, stop! 
They should be dead! That is not what we are here for. Now be quiet! My brother, now. I have given you what you wanted. I just want to see him. I want Pete's crew first. Then I'll give you Randall. I think I've been more than reasonable. Show me, Randall. Oak! Hey! Put the gun down. I could shoot him and still have two more to spare. So you're gonna do what I've asked. Now! I came here willing to talk. But if you're gonna insist on being difficult... Don't hurt him, all right? He's right here. Uh. Randall, you okay? Mm. Hang on. I gotcha. Now hand him over, and we'll be done with this. Randall isn't worth all this shit. Gabby, listen to After me. After everything they've done, you're still giving them more chances. We deserve retribution. Don't do this! Stop! No! No! <laughs> Berto! Everyone put your guns uh, down. I knew we couldn't trust them. Don't! Stand down! Please, don't hurt him. If you're not gonna do anything, we have to. That's not your call. We have to even things up somehow. I can make this red. Gabby! Fuck! I'll give you that one, all right? We're even. As long as you let Randall go. I'm not gonna ask you again. No one else has to die. Is that a threat? It doesn't need to be. Hand him over! Okay. You can have him. Good. Here we go. This better fucking work. We'll make it work. Randall. Randall, you okay? <laughs> Burn the whole fucking house down! 
Gotta hold the door with something. I thought you weren't gonna make it for a minute. They stopped firing. They're surrounding the house. We have to get out of here. Where are the boys? Upstairs. Alex! James! Hurry up! Fuck! Get down!
to get you out of here. It's not safe. isn't goodbye. I'll see you again. When? I don't know. Soon. Say goodbye, girls. Your mother has to leave. Please, Mama. Stay here with us. She can't. Just let her go. Dominic, please, give us a minute. Come on, Alex! What are you doing? <coughs> no. Girls, enough. Let her leave if that's what she wants. Michelle! No, no, no. Don't go. Colette. She can't stay. We can't stay here! Girls, listen to me. I have to go. I, I just have to go. Michelle! Yeah. <laughs> 
Sadiq's gonna take a boat down to what's left of Monroe. Salvage what we can. We can drop you off in Oceanside or maybe one of the other communities up north. It's good people. Thanks. And thank you for everything. I don't know if we would have made it out of there without you. You found my brothers. You took care of Norma. You're welcome. <sighs> It'll be harder out there with Alberto. Might lean on you a bit more. It's not going to be the same without him. Yeah, I'm gonna miss him, too. I know this has been hard on you. In more ways than one. When we got separated, I... heard you calling for your daughters. What... what happened in there? I tried to find you, but I couldn't. I had to get everyone out and... I saw my daughters. I got to talk to them. That's not possible, right? For them to be there. I know. Maybe you'd better start thinking about, you know, what if this doesn't go away? Maybe it won't. But this time, when I saw them, I was able to walk away. Couldn't keep living in that moment with them anymore. I think it's time to stop running. Go back to your group, the people you left, your family, before you can't anymore. If I know anything, it's how goddamn impermanent things are these days. I like being around you guys. It's not goodbye for us. We'll always be around. Come on. 